Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Yesterday I made a video about Vert Manager not working. Now it really wasn't Vert Manager. It was because Vert Manager runs on top of Qemu, spelled Q E M U. And it, the update from Qemu for me wasn't functioning properly and my virtual machines weren't working. So the solution I found was to downgrade Qemu to the last package before the update from last week and my vert manager was working fine and my virtual machines were working fine and I did a video on it. Well, a viewer wrote in and gave me a better solution that enables it to work with the most current version of Kimu installed on your system. So today I'm going to show you about it. So let's get to it. So the first thing I want to do is open up a web browser. So I'm going to open up Firefox. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video, the problem wasn't really wasn't Vert Manager. The problem was Kimu, which was updated and there's a bug in it. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go into the search bar and type in. OK, so we're going to go to the Kimu site. So if we go here and Vert Manager runs on top of Kimu and Vert Manager is just a GUI front end that runs on top of this. This is the virtualizer that works with KVM, which is part of the kernel. And we're going to go to support. So I'm going to click on support and I'm going to go down to, and I'm going to go down here to bug tracker, our bug tracker. So let's click it on and let's scan down. So right here, it says virtual GPU redraw issue. So I'm going to click it on. This is a bug that was in the most updated version of Kimu which is the program that actually runs the virtual machines that Vert Manager works on top of as a GUI front end. And it's telling you here, you can read this. I'm not going to read it to you. But it's telling you that with the virtual video device, there is a problem with 8.2 Kimu. And it's going to be fixed in 8.2.1.1. So the next version that comes out of Kimu, it's going to be fixed. Now it's been patched. Okay, so if you scan down here, this is the patch that fixes the problem. Now, I suppose if you know what you're doing, you could add the patch into your uh, configuration file. I don't know how to do that. But this patch is going to be included in the next update for Kimu. So in Kimu, 8.2.1 so right now we're using at the day of making this video Kimu 8.2.0 so when 8.2.1 comes out this patch will be included in it and it will be fixed and I'm going to open up my VMs so I'm going to open up Vert Manager and this is Vert Manager and these are all my virtual machines now like I showed in my video just in case you didn't watch it in yesterday's video I showed how in Arch Linux, in my main production machine, I downgraded Kimu to the previous version and I blocked my Pac-Man conf from updating Kimo when I do my uh, updates. And everything was working and that's how I fixed it. But like I said, a viewer watched a video from yesterday and gave me a better solution and this is it. So. I'm going to show you on my Arch. Now I tested this out and it does work. It works in Arch. And it also worked in my Debian virtual machine. It worked on an Arch virtual machine and my Debian virtual machine. But before I did this, what I did do, and I should show you this, I went here and I did sudo vim etc admin conf. And I put my password in. Whoops. And I typed my password wrong. <laughs> and I went in here. So that was like that. Because I had downgraded chemo to the previous packages. And I told my Pac-Man conf to ignore it, not to update it. So I could still do my other updates. So I went in today. After reading this message from this viewer, I went in here and... I commented out this line. Oops. I commented out the line. And I don't know why I put that three there. There. 
So I commented out the line like that so I could update my Kimu. And then I just did this and I updated my system. Now it shouldn't be any updates now because I just did an update and there's nothing to do. So I did that and I updated the system. So I brought Kimu back to the most current version, the one that has the bug in it. And then I closed this and then I went to Vert Manager and I opened up Arch Linux. So I highlighted it and I hit open. And let's just make this full screen. Whoops. And then instead of hitting the play button to play the virtual machine, I went into this button here, this I. And I went down here and you see the video is set to virtual. Now all my virtual machines are set to video virtual. I didn't do that. That was automatic when I made my virtual machines. It just automatically went to there. Now, I don't know if you can set Vert Manager to automatically put it to something else. But anyways, so I click it on and see it's set to virtual. So it was set to here by default. And if you put click on the menu, there's all these other ones. Now, I didn't try all these other ones. I just set it to Bosch. And then I hit Apply. And then I went and played my virtual machine. And then I click on this and it's booting into the system. And this particular arch system is not uh, encrypted. So it goes right to login. Now you can see it's flashing because when I was having the problem before, even in a TTY, my cursor wasn't flashing. So you can see it's flashing. So I'm going to type in Mench. I'm going to hit enter. And when I typed in Mench, Mench didn't show up. You couldn't see Mench, even though it was there. And if you hit the enter button, it went in. Now I'm going to put my password in. Now the password you won't be able to see because this is Arch Linux. And Arch Linux doesn't have password feedback, so it doesn't show the asterisks when you type in your password. Now I'm logged in. And then when it wasn't working, if I typed in Stardex, you couldn't see Stardex, even though it was there. And I hit enter. And when I was in here, the clock wasn't live, so you couldn't see the seconds moving, and the clock was frozen. And then when I hit here, all the stuff didn't show up in the menu. The bottom stuff didn't show up. When I clicked on X term and I typed in, you couldn't see anything in the type, and the system wasn't functioning properly. And the clock would stay frozen, and if I went away for 10 minutes and came back, this clock here would be 10 minutes off. And then if I went and closed the terminal, the clock would jump to the current time. So now you can see everything is working. And then even when I went to shut down and I did a shut down now, you couldn't see the type in the terminal. It looked like I hadn't typed anything, but it was there. And if I hit enter, it worked. So now it's closed. And I also... Uh, tried out Debian and it works in Debian too. So I've opened up Debian and make it full screen. I already changed Debian. See, so it's at video botch or box. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And you know, I wasn't going to open this one, but let's just open it. I was going to try to make this as short as video as I can. I don't want to make a long video. Let's just quickly go into Debian. And then I'm going to close the video. So when I went in here, when it wasn't working, of course, the cursor wasn't flashing. My user for the user field. So it's working now. And I'm going to put my password in. And the clock is live. You can see the seconds moving. And the menu is working. Everything's showing in the menu. Let's go into X term. Let's type in Neo Fetch. And you can see the type in here. And you can see I'm in Debian. Now I'm going to sh shut down. And of course, in Debian, when you shut down now in the terminal, you got to do sudo. And put your password in. If you choose to go with this method, the advantage of going with this method is that Kimu will be totally up to date. But you're going to have to change your virtual machines one at a time. 
So like if I open up, let's say this Arch December, let's open it up. Let's make it full screen. Let's click on the eye. And I can see the video is virtual. So if I want to open up this machine, I'm going to have to click it on and change this pull down menu to botch and, and apply it. So as far as I know, there's not a global setting where you can change the video and all the virtual machines in one shot. Maybe there is, but I looked and I couldn't see it. That is another way of fixing the system until there's an update and the virtual bug is fixed. The advantage of doing it the way I showed you in the video yesterday is that you won't have to go and change the video settings for all your virtual machines if you have a lot of virtual machines. The disadvantage of fixing it the way I did yesterday is that you're running on an older system of Kimu, which might not be a bad idea. Bare metal computer is Debian. You wouldn't have had this problem. And if you're running Debian, you're going to be running on an older version of Kimu anyways. So fixing it the way I showed you how to fix it in the video yesterday, it's not a terrible solution. And that way you won't have to adjust all your virtual machines. Because as far as I can see, there's not a global way to change them. But if you want to keep up with the most current version of Kimu, then you can do what I did today. And you can just change one virtual machine at a time when you're going to use it. And that's it. In this video today, I showed you a second way of fixing Virk Manager so that it functions properly without having to roll back Kimu to the previous version. And I also showed you how there is a bug in the virtual video for Kimu that's going to be fixed in the next update. And I showed you the advantages and disadvantages of temporarily fixing the situation like I showed in yesterday's video or fixing it the way I showed you today. Anyways, eventually, uh, probably soon, it's going to be fixed and there'll be another update to Kimo and everything will be fixed. Also, let me know if there is a way to change the video for all my virtual machines in one shot. Anyways, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.